Okay, guys, so we're back with, I guess, part five? Well, wow. okay, so yeah, in the last video, I showed you guys how to close the ticket slash delete the channel. Uh, some moderators might not want to delete the channel immediately, so just get rid of this line over here because, you know, the moderator might need to, you know, keep the channel up to have other moderators take a look at it. Okay, so I think maybe the best situation to, the best thing to do is you can check to make sure you can check to see if the user reacts to it, like if the author reacts to the, uh, if the author tries to close it, then only hide the channel. But if the admin tries to, if the admin tries to close it, then you can delete the channel type. I mean, that's just up to you. I'm not going to focus on that. The main priority is just, uh, having the, being, making sure we can close tickets. Okay. And I guess another, uh, a solution to to this is because obviously right now no one can delete channels okay so what you can do is you can just have you can just provide a couple of uh admin commands so we can go ahead and do something like client.on message and then we can do something like message over here and then you can just go ahead and say if message author.bot return and then you can say if message dot content dot to lowercase so you can have a command you can say if it starts with and the command prefix delete channel so if it starts with delete channel then you would also need to check to make sure if that if that uh person is a moderator or if they're an administrator and then you would just delete the channel okay so i'll do that right now i guess so delete channel uh, you would have to do this inside each inside the correct channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and say if message dot member has permission, and we can go ahead and say administrator. So if they have the admin permission, then we're gonna go ahead and allow them to delete the channel. So let's just say if message or well, actually let's do this let's do this if if the command name is delete channel and message dot channel that starts starts with starts oh channel dot name that starts with wait starts with uh tickets and that should be lowercase. Uh, yep, it should be lowercase. Let's create one. Perfect. Okay, so if it starts with ticket, okay. Obviously, actually, no. If it starts with ticket and with the hyphen. Actually, no, that's bad. I think maybe we might need a regular expression for this. So if it starts with tickets and then it ends with so let me go ahead and just create a simple regular expression real quick so i think we need to basically match for example this so i guess we'll do ticket i'm not really great with regular expressions so zero to nine match i think asterisk is what we want star Since where are the quantifiers? Zero or more. Okay, perfect. The, although it should actually be one or more because there always should be at least a digit. So we'll do this. So obviously if I do ticket zero through two, that, that will also match as well. Okay, perfect. So let's just use this regular expression. So we're gonna go ahead and say let regex equal new we're gonna do that okay and then we're going to say let channel name equal message that channel name and then we're gonna go ahead and say regex dot test and this should say if it exists so this should return true for our case okay Let's try that. Let's try it out. So let's go into this channel. Let's just say delete channel. 
perfect. But if I do it inside a ticket support, it's not going to say reg regex max matched. Blech, I can't speak. If I do it inside here, nope, doesn't do it. But if I do it inside here, perfect. Okay, awesome. So that's going to ensure that we're deleting it inside an actual ticket channel and not just some random channel that starts with ticket. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and say if the... We can also just do this. We can just do this as well. And if the person that's invoking that command is an admin, again, you can also check if they have a moderator role as well. Delete channel. So we're going to say uh, message channel dot delete. And we'll just say then console.log see that name was deleted catch every single error okay so let's try this out and also if we delete the channel we should also um close the ticket as well okay so let's try this delete channel so that's going to delete the channel we also should close the ticket automatically Okay, so right now if you see over here, if we look in our database, you're going to see that this last ticket that we just uh, that we just uh, cl deleted, the channel that we deleted, you can see that the resolve is still zero. So it's going to still say, so it won't let us actually create a ticket. If I try to create a ticket, it's going to send me a DM saying that you already have a ticket opened. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go back to our server and let's just do update tickets set resolve equal one and that's going to set that it's only going to change one right there but let's go ahead and do this again so let's go ahead and do that ticket okay so when we use that command that's going to close the ticket so to close a ticket with this command what we're going to do is let's see uh actually you know what i'm going to do actually i'm going to rename this to close channel close ticket but this will automatically delete the channel okay and close the ticket as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get the channel ID. And you're gonna and this is the reason why I needed all of this information in our database. Okay, it makes it so much easier to keep track of our tickets. Okay, and it's less prone to bugs. So we have the channel ID. So and since that channel ID is going to correspond to only one ticket every single time, we can just fetch the database and just find the we can just find the information by the uh, by the ID. So we're not gonna query, we're not gonna really do much aside from just updating. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go and say ticket. Whoops, ticket. Dot update. We're gonna set the we're gonna set resolved to true, and then we're gonna say where. Uh, let's see, channel ID. ID is equal. Oh, I'm sorry. This should be where. Curly braces, channel ID, channel ID, like that. Okay. Now, if I save this, let me just check the database. We should have a ticket that's open. Perfect. Right over there. Number 14. Now, if I do close ticket, it's going to delete the channel and it should update it. Perfect. So now, if let's say the admin uses that command, we can go ahead and still create a ticket. Okay, and we're on ticket number 15. If I do that, uh, it should have deleted the ticket. Oh, no, it doesn't delete the ticket. I'm sorry. So it will just update the permissions, like I said. Okay, and we can still use the, and you can see right over here, it's resolved. But if I do close ticket, it will just delete the channel, and it will still be resolved. And we can still create a new ticket. Perfect. All right, so let's see. We have a couple more minutes so let me go ahead and show you guys how to add other people to the ticket because right now uh, let's just say here's think of like this kind of scenario right think of it like this let's say you open up a ticket on a server and one person so only the moderators the administrators and whoever else you want including the person that created the ticket can see that ticket but what if that person might want to add in a witness for their ticket right instead of having the per instead of having the other witness um, or the other, you know, 
person trying to you know advocate for the uh for the person creating a ticket instead of doing that instead of having them create multiple tickets you can add one person to an existing ticket so then they can both be in that same channel if that makes sense i don't know if ticket tool does that but i think that would be a pretty awesome feature so let's go ahead and do that so i think what i want to do but i think maybe for this you might want this to be for uh an admin feature um, I'll let you guys decide. You guys, I mean, I'll let you guys uh, figure it out yourselves. Because this is, again, there's many different ways you can implement this. But you can, because if you have, if you allow the user to add more users to a ticket, then they might abuse it. But you can also set a limit to that. Okay? So, I think for now, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and make this an admin feature only. And we're going to use it with, we're going to do, re we're going to use reactions for that. Okay? Um, and this is actually going to be a little bit more trickier. It's going to be a little bit more trickier. And the reason why is because if we add other users to that, uh, if we add other users to that uh, ticket, they're going to be able to see that channel. And then we're going to have to delete that channel later on. Okay. So I don't think it's going to be a little bit tricky. So let's see. So right over here, if I create a, if I create a ticket, so I think what I'll do is right over here when I when we close the ticket, right? right when we close the ticket, um, see how over here we are overwriting the permission for just one person. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to overwrite it for every single person that is in that ticket. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to update our database table just a little bit. We're going to have to create a column that's going to hold, I guess, an array of all of the users' IDs that are in that channel. Okay. I think I'm going to save that for another video. I think I actually need to think about this a little bit more, but I do think this would be a great feature to uh, to have though. Okay. I just wanted to make this separate video to show you guys how to uh, delete the ticket. Uh, just to manually delete the ticket, but this right now is a fully functional ticket system if you think about it. So let's go ahead and try it out. We're gonna create a ticket. We have ticket number 16. Let's just type, okay, close the ticket. The ticket is closed, and obviously I cannot see the ticket from here. Okay, let's go ahead and create another ticket. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll create a ticket through here. Let's just say, la la. Okay, so the ticket is closed, but ad administrator can still see it. It's been resolved already. This ticket has been resolved. Okay. Awesome. So let's just officially close the ticket. That will delete the ticket. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So yes, there are a couple of features that I do want to add to this ticket bot system. But for now, we're going... To, I'm going to have to do it myself first, and then I'm going to uh, show you guys how to do it. Because obviously, these are just desired features. But we have the... We have the main features already set up, which I think is perfect. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.